guys hope everyone's well just want to do a quick wee video here on my thoughts on peanut butter you know whether it's organic it's literally just peanuts or or, or whatever um you know things like cashew butter almond butter etc um and it, and it kind of just ties into the whole the whole the whole industry of uh the whole food industry to be honest without uh without going too deep into anything it's just um it's been crazy publicized in you know the health and fitness industry for at least a decade now for for that's at least longer from from my memory I remember like uh, 2009 10 I remember you know it was blowing up everywhere people were talking about all these things I remember watching videos ago people going into supermarkets in America you know just pour you know pour <laughs> pouring them like a, they would a pint uh, into like tubs and stuff like that and just taking them home you know all these like bodybuilders and stuff eating them and you know it gives you the impression that people are eating loads of this kind of stuff um, and for me thing, things that I've put the weight on in the past is things like peanut butter etc the amount of calories in that stuff you only need a, a, the tiniest bit but for me it's always hijacked my brain I've always overindulged on it you know if you think about nature and the the actual nut itself you look you think about one almond nut you know uh, or, or or a brazil nut or a walnut or a hazelnut or any kind of nut there's one nut inside that shell how do you get into that i mean if you're a, a squirrel or you've got no no tools or anything you've got to put a lot of work in to get that nut now, um, from from a sort of animal or human perspective, you know, you know, to put the work in, you know, in 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 historic times, it's got to be, it's got to be, you got to get more out of it, more energy, energy is for survival. That's that's what it was all about, you know. Hunter gatherers, they ain't doing something that's going to be, you know, not not beneficial to them in the tribe. So if you're collecting nuts and breaking into them and, 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 and separating them out, all that kind of stuff takes a lot of energy. Now, if you're literally squeezing the oil out of that and just making peanut butters, etc., the amount of, and, you know, big heavy machinery doing all that work that, you know, humans were doing before, that's an insane amount of calories that you can build up without actually doing any effort. You just literally walk into a shop now and buy it. So... You, you can balloon up so easily with that kind of stuff you know because you don't have to put in any effort in it in these days well you can go get a tub of peanut butter for a couple of quid virtually anyone could afford that now back in the day you got to forage for these kind of things you know get them before the before, before the squirrels take them so it's you know it's just a just a point to note i'm not saying i'm an expert in any of the things but it's just, it's just my opinion and my point of view things like that also another thing is refined oil olive oil that kind of stuff needs to be in moderation you know if you're pressing all these olives most of it most of what's in an olive is water anyway so you're eating olives fine you're using refined oils for cooking and stuff then you're going to be consuming a lot a lot of calories so yeah just just something to bear in mind because at the end of the day if you're consuming peanut lots of peanut butter every day there's no way you can burn that off no matter, matter what you're doing unless you're running like 24 hour marathon so yeah just something to bear in mind just a thought you guys give me your thoughts on that kind of stuff um remember comment like subscribe hit that notification bell and i'll see you guys soon